Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Mega Modded Gungeon. We are using the new version, the brand new version of Knife to a Gunfight. It's been a long time coming. Also, there seems to be some new decor going on, which I quite like. Uh, but yeah, there is, uh, there's been a new update to Knife to a Gunfight. It's finally been ported over. I'm excited and ready to play it because um, that mod was already pretty good and it was, it was quite old though. And so it's been kind of reworked and redone and given a new breath uh, of life. Lots of things been rebalanced. Lots of things to be added, and yeah, um, Ski has done a great job, and I'm looking forward to seeing some of the stuff. And with the Equilibrium mod that makes all um, mods equally show up different items, we should hopefully see a good few guns or items from the mod at some point, so we'll see. We shall see, but we've uh, we've grabbed a few keys to start out here. Let's see what uh, weapon we started with here. So we got the Sticky Launcher. We got um, this. Reloading empty clip fires a shot that aggressively harms on enemies and magic bullets. Seems decent. If I remember correctly, the sticky launcher is pretty bad. Ooh, also we've got the slightly changed color. Um, like, how the hell do I explode these things? Um, how do I explode the stickies? Okay, I don't know if I'm misusing that. I'm not sure. Let me let me see. Let me see. Um, shoot sticky bombs that detonate on reload. They they most certainly do not. <laughs> they most certainly do not detonate on reload. <laughs> yeah, that is that is entirely false. Also, I like this firming shot on um, last bullet thing. Especially considering it works for my pistol. I really like that. Oh, oh, oh. The aggressive herming. I see what it means by aggressive herming now. Wow. That is quite something. That is quite something. So, unfortunately, no never name for today. I've had to sort of... Oh, my lord! Record this episode at a time I was not expecting to. Um, so I couldn't get involved. What on earth is this room? Beautiful is what it is. But scary. Right, grab this. Oh, platinum bullets this early? This is going to be a fast run, people. This is going to be a fast run. Platinum bullets, for those of you that don't know, scales our fire rate and damage the longer we're using the weapons. And it is probably one of the best bullet modifiers in the game. So, should hopefully have a pretty good time with it. I would think. You blew up my barrel. No oogly yet for me today. I don't know if I'm going to go to the Oogly yet anyways. Oh, well, the, the alt floor anyways. I might just carry on down the regular path. Ooh, new shop. Hello. And she actually tells us what the items do as well. Buffs or debuffs nearby enemies. Hellbound. Move slower. Gain a trail of fire. This is really cool. Most of this is just practice for my <laughs> occult sciences degree. Really cool. We'll see if we can get enough money to uh, buy the buffs or debuffs nearby enemies. I like the idea of that. That seems really interesting. Lots of keys. We've got a lot of keys going on right now. I'm liking how much our magic bullets are procking as well. That's very exciting. We're getting a lot of procs on that. Right. You stay away from me, Nitro. Give me some more cha-ching, cha-ching. And honestly, the, the, the starter pistol mixed with this firming shot thing, pretty good going. I'm just fight, I like using my bullets before I enter the room, so I've got the herming shot ready. And obviously that time it went straight into the wall, so not ideal, but hey ho. Good. Oh, we got a lonk as well. Wow, this is a good floor. This is a good floor. I wonder what our actual shop contains. We've got the pop gun, um, once more into the breach, and we've got the fun cannon as well. Both really good shop items. I doubt we're going to be able to afford them though. Um, just because I'm try I want to at least buy one of the other items from the shop because they're all from um, they're all from Ski's new mod I think. Once uh, once more into no no no, I can't even know what it's called now. I, I mentioned the name earlier. Nice to a gunfight. That's what it's called. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm just gonna no actually I'll open it. I'll open it. Um, gilded pops. Cannot remember what that does. Decorative breaks have a chance to drop a casing. Oh hell yes. Okay. We might be here a while. <laughs> I wonder what the chances are. 
So, we can prop. Actually, we can afford that. Nice. Okay, let's have a little look, see what it actually does. This is nice to a gunfight. Buffs or debuffs nearby enemies. The smell of this perfume seems to um, grin an impossibly large mischievous. <laughs> yeah, nice one. I like that. Okay. I also really like the fact that the room's got that little hat symbol on it. It's really, really cute. Really good work with that. Really good work indeed. Um, speak to this man now. I'd like a gun, please. Wait, what? Have I missed a room? Oh, I always miss the tree room. Always miss the tree room. Okay, so that time it poisoned. Oh, this is this seems like it's going to be really fun. Oh, and it can jam enemies as well, which is actually kind of good for us for money. So not upset about that at all. That's that's really cool. I'm so glad I got that on the first uh, first room. Also, friendship glory. It seems new as well. It is from Bleaker actually. Gives your um. Gives your strength for every companion. Gives you strength for every couple companion that fights alongside you. Okay, so useless right now, but we'll gain, I'm assuming, damage for every companion we have with us. Right, let's try and use the sticky launcher here and see if it actually can do anything. It most certainly doesn't do anything. It most certainly does not do anything. I don't know why it says that they explode. I don't know if it's bugs. I don't know how it's meant to work, but it certainly isn't doing that. Damn it. I'm playing on turbo mode. I keep forgetting that. I'm playing like a little bit of a goober. Oh, you dick. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It only, it only jammed him for a brief time, though, which is certainly interesting. I kind of expected it to just jam them for the rest of the fight. I really like this. This is a really cool idea for an item, I've got to say. Uh, we've also got the vacuum gun. We've got it with a synergy as well. Um, that being Chickadoo, which is uh, because this is the vacuum gun from Slime Rancher, and um, you can pick up chickens in Slime Rancher, right? Basically this, if we suck up blob enemies, it turns them into ammo. It's a very, very good weapon, especially for dealing with blob enemies, because it insta-kills them. We just gotta reload when we're near them. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it as my offhand. Obviously we can't use it until we get ammo for it, but that this this could end up being a very, very major gun for our build. Like, this, this this could be a really good gun for us. Right, uh, so I'll keep it as my secondary. I'm hoping to get a decent gun this floor, because right now, weaponry-wise, we're not doing so hot. The vacuum gun is good, but not for a bit. At the minute, we're kind of stuck with this thing. Oh, that guy's got an interesting buff on him. I'm not sure what buff that was. Nah, I kind of knew I was going to get hit there. That was stupid of me. Nice. And if we kill them while we're jammed, we get the extra casings as well by the looks of it, which is real nice. That key thingy just sat still in the worst place possible there. Oh, wait. Hey, I can I can fill it up with chickens. That's what it lets me do. I had a feeling that would be what it lets me do. That's pretty cool though. That, that means we've got some synergy. We've got some combo. I've got to be really careful here. Gimme. <laughs> Five ammo for a chicken. I like it. And, and another item that I've not seen before here. This is from Bleaker again. I'm getting a lot of Bleakers. Uh, when the player overkills an enemy, the extra damage is added to the player's next shot. That is incredible. That With this gun that we've got right now, not great. But later down the line, that could be something really crazy. Nice. What the hell is this dude? Oh no, chicken. I want you. Yes. <laughs> Get in my belly. Right, let's actually try firing this thing now. Oh, it doesn't work for these blobs. Look at that. Blob power. We need more chickens, what we need. A lot more chickens. 
Okay. Keep keep it going. We need to be careful because our health is kind of low right now. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. I'm really liking this perfume item as well. I think it's adding it's adding a lot to this run. Adding a bit of challenge as well as a bit of ease in certain areas. I'm just using the herming shot mainly. I'm not actually aiming my real bullets. I'm just letting these herming shots do their thing because they, they seem to have a good amount of damage on them as well. I like them quite a lot. We got ourselves the Hippo and we got the Curse Cylinder. I'm going to take the Curse Cylinder because I can't remember what it does. Um, nearby enemies are feared when reloading. That's kind of decent. Uh, and we might come back for the Hippo because I remember the Hippo is pretty decent as well. And we do kind of need a gun right now. So if we get another 10 casings, we'll definitely go for that. Do you know, just stand on top of the spikes. Oh, hello. It's you again. Um, I'm really annoyed... The, I'm not going to take Nightmare Mode. That'll be crazy. Uh, I'm really annoyed at myself that I spent all my money because I probably won't be able to afford that now. What the hell is this? This is knife to a gunfight. Okay. Um, spines that rip and jaws that tear. Um, ooh, <laughs> this is pretty cool. I can't, I can't pronounce half of the words in here, so I'm not even going to try. A fang of legend from the beast of the shadows that forged into a razor blade. Um, this blade deals criticals to beasts. That. Oh. That is sexy. That is really something. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's, that's impressive, that is. That, that has... That has turned out marvellously. <laughs> I really like this. I probably shouldn't use it on the boss, but I'm going to try. Yeah, this is a bad idea to use on a boss, isn't it? Oh, I just rolled right into that. It seems to make me contact damage immune, actually, so... Maybe not so bad. Oh, I died? No way. Okay, that's 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 not good. I, I, I think it's because I jammed him at some point. Right, let's do a quick restart there. That was, that was very stupid of me. I don't actually have that long for this episode either, so a restart there is not good. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy Lord. Should have played that a little more conservatively. It's get, getting hit by that laser through... Well, it wasn't the laser that hit me. It was the rocket. The rocket made me get hit by the laser. So it kind of was the laser that hit me. But it proper threw me off. And after that, I was just kind of burned. And also the fact that I just didn't have good weapons. I should have just bought the Hippo. Would have been a good shout. But I really wanted to save up for one of the other things. I can't believe I got the new NPC twice in a row. That was pretty, pretty awesome. Also, this is taking a while to start a new run for some reason. Let's hope the game is okay. As long as the animation in the bottom right is like really jittery and laggy, it normally means the gears are churning. Normally means that something in the background is happening. But this is taking quite a long time to start a new run. It's always a little bit scary. Oh god. So far though, Knife to a Gunfight has some very impressive stuff going on. And I don't think I broke any of it yet, apart from the long load time, but I don't know if that's related. It might not be, or it might be, who knows. Let's see what we've started with here. Um, we have started with the Machine Pistol and the Wicker Heart. Adds a heart and fire vulnerability. Fire vulnerability. A wooden woven heart. Ooh. Fire vulnerability. I wonder how that works. I'm guessing fire just ticks quicker, maybe? Hello again. The might... Might, might be a small chance that this room is a, is showing up a little too often, but that might just be because it's um, part of the initial build of the game that I'm on at the minute. Like, maybe it just shows up more on purpose to, like, for testing reasons. I don't know. I didn't ask. Um, but it's certainly plausible. I doubt I'm going get, to get enough money. The follow-up. Ooh, this item's from Knife to a Gunfight. This item's from Ottomans. I would like some of these, please. A 
bouncy boy. I can't see what this 5 vulnerability does. It doesn't seem to 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 tick up any quicker. I'm not quite sure what it means. Right, let's open up this chest. Blood plus bullets, I've gun lost, sorry. How much are you? 45. I might throw in the heart. I can't even drop the heart. Okay, it doesn't matter. I was going to say maybe throw in the heart to get some other stuff, but... Because I wanted to maybe buy one of these. Or buy the follower. It looks like I don't have that option right now. Extra key, that's lovely. Boom. Keep it going. Take you out, sir. I'm not doing too bad on the speed. We're getting through stuff fairly quick. I'll do this while I have ammo. Yeah, I'm just a little annoyed I died from that last run. I mean, it was kind of obvious I was going to die with the way I was playing. I was playing pretty bad. I mean, turbo mode is really, like, ripping me a new one recently. I mean, look at this. Getting hit against the trigger twins. Embarrassing. I, me and Never Named have, have, have sussed it out, though. Basically... I, I played Gungeon so long, for so long, that I've gotten really, really, really good at it. And I've gotten so good at it, that I've gotten complacent and it's making me bad at it. That is exactly what's happening. I don't, I don't play properly because I feel like I don't have to because I'm like, I basically just like, autopilot the game now. Um, which is actually getting me hurt a lot, which is why Turbo Mode is kicking my ass so much. Because I, I don't have the same groove that I'd normally have. Terminal Force. Yeah, I don't quite have the same rhythm and timing that, that everything used to fall under. Is this thing good? Yeah. I was just about to say, is this thing good? And it just absolutely wrecked through those enemies. Also, it reloads really fast. Good. See what our, I should probably should have taken ammo for my SMG there, but oh well. Let's see what our other uh, chest is first before we open up that one. Big eye boy, killed him instantly. Okay, we'll we'll, uh, we'll trash this and. Get the other chest, why don't we? Bat gun. Nice. And then we'll go back to the witch and see what we can afford. Withering Rose or the coin purse? Let's take the coin purse, see what that does. Less money, more power, but more money, less power. A coin purse designed to be empty rewards those who know the curses of wealth. Okay. Interesting. So I want to stay at low money to gain... Also, my damage value seems to be all messed up with this thing in my hand. Anything I can buy for 18? Ah, bugger. Not quite. Okay, let's 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 move on. Let's move on. The back gun's decent. It's decent. It has some cool synergies as well, from what I remember. I think Nevenim showed me a few of them. I think Ghost Bullets is one of the good ones. Try and find that if we can. Not that it's a choice. Loading the next floor? Maybe? I don't know why I'm having such long load times right now. Usually once the stat screen shows up, it means it's about it, it's it's about to load, so that's a good sign at least. Uh let's use the shotgun for now because I'm enjoying using this thing. I just playing around with the knockback and stuff is fun. It also just like, it's really strong. I think it's because it has, a, like, a fairly big downside. That is a big bat. Good, good. The 
Okay, this is this is bat gun territory. Right, there he is. Always find him first. Usually pretty easy. Ow! I can't believe that sniper hit me then. I mean, I did stand right in front of him, so it's kind of understandable, but I don't accept it. Oh, bloody turbo mode's really destroying me. If I if I lose another run here, it's going to be a bit of a failure, but I'll accept it for what it is. I, I, I'm kind of playing really dangerously right now and getting up in enemies' faces, so... Big Angry Bomb. I'd kind of like to see what that does. Big Angry Bomb sounds big angry fun. Get in the pit. <laughs> it's quite nice for that. Huzzah. Hello. Bomber jacket boy. Can you drop me the size scale. I never remember exactly how this works. It just kind of shoots enemies from random directions. Okay, that's decent. It's not super, super good, but it's decent. Hello again, sir. Table what the hell? What's going on with that one? I'm not quite sure. I'll try and buy that, though. That sounds interesting. That intrigues me. Oh, goddamn. Ideally, I'd like to kill the big guy first. It's not really working out, is it? Literally killed him last. But I was trying to kill him first so I could get some more curse going on. I'll, get, I'll take one curse from you, though. Hello, another shop guy. Raiden Coil, hello. Right, let's go buy the table tech, I think. I just want to see what it does. It sounds interesting. I probably had it before, but I don't remember it. Also, we gain stats for not having money. I don't know what stats. I think I gained speed there, maybe? Hmm. Maybe I forget what this thing does, but that didn't do anything to, for me. Bets. Frickin' bets. I love Halloween. Absolutely no idea which ones are mine and which ones aren't. Bets. <laughs> I love that. Oh god, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I can use this for a little bit. It's got some ammo left. Dude, stop shooting him while he's closed. That's just useless. Okay, we're out of that now. I guess we use this thing a little bit. But this thing does work pretty well. Like it's, it's, we don't have to aim it at all, so... Just keep moving about. You can't really specifically tell it for which enemy we want it to go for first, but... Oh, for God's sake, I forgot it, the little schmoosh. Forget how these enemies work. Am I going to have a second death on this same floor? By the looks of it, yes. It will be an embarrassing episode, but we got to show off a lot of knife to a gunfight already this episode. That sword was very cool, so can't complain about that. It's bat time. The bats do a really good job, actually. Just getting them to actually hit things and shoot at the right times. Not their strongest suit, as you can see. While they completely fail to shoot a book. Starter pistol is useless. Falling off a pit is also useless. Whatever this thing is seems cool. 
Nice little gunfight once again. Press reload or shoot while reloading to attempt to parry. So I guess I'll parry, the bullet will instantly reload the weapon. Press reload or shoot while reloading. Interesting. We can parry bullets to insta-reload. Now I wonder how good the actual base gun is. Ooh, it's got like a burst fire to it. There you go, that's pretty cool. The gun itself isn't that good. Oh my god. I'm just gonna keep trying to parry because it's interesting. Yeah, that works. And it's got a pretty slow reload because of that. Damn it! You've got to actually be aiming at the shot. Oh my god, I don't know if I do I, I didn't quite get it there, damn it. I'm having a lot of fun with these. These, these seem to be some... Oh, I did the fucking spike. Oh, we got the double death. That, that That's uh, That's going to be a pretty pretty quick episode. <laughs> but I will say we got to see a good few Nitro Gunfight um, items and guns. Really good stuff so far. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more. A lot, lot more. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a short episode. I realize it's two very quick deaths. But I don't really have a lot of time for this episode anyways. And I think it's mainly because I haven't played in like a pretty long time because I've had kind of a break. Uh, so I've had kind of a few episodes backlogged and so I haven't played in like two weeks. So that might be why. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.